and he presided over a remarkable department full of wonderful colleagues, outstanding individuals, uh, Carl Sagan, Tommy Gold, Ed Saltpeter, but all of them very independently minded and very successful in their own rights, all going in their own directions. And somehow the, um, the warmth and the, the wisdom and the sheer sense of partnership that Jovent brought to that distinguished group was something that not only kept the department intact, but it allowed it to grow. I remember his uh, beating up on me to get two more floors added to the astronomy building, and, uh, and he succeeded, and that's no small undertaking. So I was impressed with the Irvant for many reasons. Uh, he was an extraordinarily effective department chair. It was for many years. He was one of the longest running chairs on campus, and it was hard to imagine the astronomy department without Yervant Terzian chairing it. This is really a world-class place for astronomy now, and it's largely thanks to A, Tommy, and B, Yervant. He, he has very great scientific talents, but he's also very good people skills which he learned during the years. He, he really honed them beautifully and he, as he became more mature and he became softer and more understanding. And I mean, I really witnessed a person developing so beautifully as, as beautifully as the Advent did. Some people have basic characteristics at the beginning of their life and they just go through unchanged. Whereas the Advent developed enormously, and I think especially in people's skills. Yervant had definitely uh, established this tradition of being very friendly and interactive. The, everyone was treated as equal. Graduate students, everyone was treated with a great deal of respect, and so there was no uh, schisms or warfare within, within the department. He was a uh, supreme consensus builder. Uh, he spent an incredible amount of time speaking with people. Uh, any issue that came up in the department, he seemed to consult each of us individually before he actually had a meeting about it. Uh, I'm sure in part so he would know where we all stood, but also in part to figure out what the consensus was and to uh, actually to mold the consensus.